Hello and welcome to the Evan Clifton Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson men's and women's tennis coach Evan Clifton. Coach, it's the first time we had a chance to chat this mm-hmm. spring. Um, and both teams playing well right now. Both the men yeah. and women are on winning streaks and start a conference playoff strong. Yeah, yeah. We, um, you know, we had started – the tough schedule this spring played yep. Salisbury and Genie out on the men's side and uh, before spring break and just Salisbury on the women's side before spring breaks so we had sort of our toughest teams uh, toughest part of the schedule right away um, so we had to figure some things out we learned some things from those matches uh, figured out what we needed to fix what our strengths and weaknesses were made the adjustments um, and then really since spring break for the guys and since halfway through spring break for the ladies you've seen uh, both teams are pretty hot the guys are on a, a six match winning streak uh, the ladies have won their last three yeah. And so we're looking to just keep things rolling and, and build on it for, for Messiah this week. Yeah, and obviously most importantly, start conference playoff last week, taking on Alvernia mm-hmm. and Albright. You know, on yeah. the women's side, Alvernia team, you lost to 7-2 last year. You beat 7-2 yeah. this year. Mm-hmm. So obviously it just shows that the improvement's there. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, both teams, obviously the men, you know, expect to be in contention for the playoffs. Absolutely. But, you know, hopefully the women, you know, Obviously, depending on what happens the next couple of weeks, yeah. be in contention as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, uh, on, on the women's side, you know, Alvernia is a team that we lost to 7-2 um, last year. We were able to flip the script this year, um, get things started off in doubles really well, and, and we were able to win that match 7-2. Um, and that was definitely one of the teams that if we had beat last year, if we had pulled that match out last year, we would have been in the conference playoffs. Yeah. And so I told them before the match, it's one of the teams, one of the four or five teams we absolutely got to beat uh, this year to make the playoffs. And so we got it done there, but um, you know we're not done. We still got to win. You know, we still got to win at least three more conference matches. And, um, and on the men's side, obviously, it was um, those were two teams that played us kind of close last year. Yeah. Uh, Albright really, if I remember correctly, it was a five-four, six-three match, uh, yeah. a lot closer than we had expected. Um, but this year, you know, we came in, took care of business. We, you know, despite the conditions, played played our best and, and got the job done with a nine-zero win. Um, and then obviously they took care of business as well on the, the men's side against Alvernia earlier in the week. So, yeah, both teams off to a two and zero conference start. And it's, uh, but again, it's not about how you start; it's about how you finish. And so yep. we're, you know, we're focused on that. We're taking it one conference match at a time. And you know, look, hopefully we'll be in position to be in the playoffs and be a top seed. Uh, you know, three four weeks from now. Yeah, and obviously big week coming up. Um, you know, you've got Messiah. You know, mm-hmm. for both the men and women this week, and then you, you're on the road again on Saturday. So. Um, you know, obviously first just, you know, the midweek, you know, playing Messiah, obviously on the men's side, you know, obviously, you know, they're kind of the top dogs. They're the ones that you want to, mm-hmm. you know, that you want kind of, they're the measuring stick to find out where yeah. you really stack up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certainly they, um, they're, you know, absolutely. They're the measuring stick. That's uh, if we can beat them and perform well against them, obviously that bodes well for us the rest of the conference. Um, but like I said, I mean, I think we've been you know, since my first year here, we've been talking about not just beating them, just just winning the MAC outright. Yeah. Um, and so we definitely don't feel like going into that match that that we're an underdog at all. Yeah. It's going to be a close match. It could go either way, sure. Yeah. Um, but we've been in those close matches. We've played teams as good or better than them all spring. And yeah. so and we've been getting better and better every match. So. You know, we like our chances. Uh, our top four, especially on the men's side, can we think our top four are, are as good or better than every other top four in the conference? Uh, if you look at their record, it shows it. Yeah. Um, Andre Sterniolo at two and, and Drew Ryan at four singles. I think they're seven and one on the yeah. spring. Uh, everybody has a winning record uh, combined singles and doubles on the men's side up and down the lineup. So, you know, we, we look for our, our top four to really lead us, but we certainly think uh, our five and six and three doubles against Messiah really uh, favor us. And we yeah. think, you know, that's where in years past we've been sort of weak in that spot. Um, and we think we're really strong this year, and we look forward to showing that Tuesday and, and Wednesday on the ladies' side. Yeah, yeah, obviously that, that's very important. All right, Coach, we wish you the best of luck this week, and uh, we'll chat next week. Thank you. All right, for Evan Clifton, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Evan Clifton Show.